girl hey not sure what this was this is gonna be my desk tour which i asked if you guys wanted an in-depth look at my desk in my apartment tour and a lot of you said yes so here we are that's why i'm doing this so along the way you're going to see kind of my diy organization and decor ideas and how i incorporated them into my desk here in college so i hope you guys enjoy this video and get something out of it thumbs up if you do and let go so here is an overview of my desk area. We are just gonna start at the top here, I guess. I have two things hung up on the wall. This is a little Theta thing that my little made me for Big Appreciation Day, which is adorable. And this is my 100,000 subscriber plaque from YouTube. So I just kind of hung those up there. I had them sitting on top of the desk, but it just kind of took up space. So I got this lamp from Bed Bath & Beyond. My roommate Chloe has the same one. And this is a crown I had from, um, I was IT director in my sorority last term and we wore those for job sales. So I thought that was cute. One of my organization tips is having a weekly dry erase calendar. It makes it so much easier to just look at your week instead of looking at your whole month. My little hide and hug Olaf is perched up there on my desk. I have some writing utensils up here with some nail clippers, I don't know. Um, this little plastic grass thing is from Staples, which is really nice because it can hold a lot of stuff up there that you need. Um, I have a few books back here that I keep for reference and writing and of course the most important part that was easy that gets me through the day sometimes my camera's here this is my Canon T4i for filming my kind of sit down videos and this is my Fujifilm Instax which is my Polaroid camera in the back um, I just have all my nail polishes here. The containers are from the container store. It's just nice clear acrylic nail polish holders, perfect size. I have some paper clips in there. Um, a little alligator I got in Florida a long time ago that I just always have. Name tag from recruitment for my sorority. And then here, I haven't really found how I want to use these. So right now they're just kind of sprawled out here decorating my desk, my Polaroids. Pin box. I feel like I have a lot of Theta stuff up here, but whatever. So I just have stapler, tape, and another sorority thing. We have these things called Theta for Your Thoughts where people write in like nice things about you or something and then um, she typed them out and put them all in little boxes and they're adorable. So that's mine and a Bluetooth speaker. Here we have my mirror. It's a light up makeup mirror. I'm pretty sure it's from Bed Bath & Beyond. A tip is to organize your makeup palettes in a magazine organizer, a file organizer. I'm pretty sure that's from Target. I just have some makeup palettes here. I'm not doing like a full on makeup collection, but this is just an overview of how I store it. I have this little like chemistry looking thing um, with a bunch of clear tubes from the container store where I keep my makeup brushes, hair accessory things, whatever, I don't even know, you can see. And then I have three of these little three drawer things from the container store, which this one is face makeup, this one is eyes and lips, and this one is lips and random stuff. On top of the desk, this is one of my DIY decor ideas. Um, if you saw my apartment tour, then I kind of went into this. Well, one of my organization ideas is to have this white shelving unit on top of your desk. This one is from Bed Bath & Beyond, and it's just really nice because it expands upon your desk space and gives you, you know, layers to put things on so it doesn't take up as much room on top of the desk, but it definitely helps open up other space. I had this on my desk last year and then when I brought it here, when I was moving in with my dad, I realized that this desk is actually more shallow than the one last year, so I didn't have that much space when it was directly against the wall like this one is. My dad had an idea to do was put plexiglass, which is what this clear sheet is, and just kind of extend the desk so it's away from the wall, but when you put the plexiglass, then you can sit things on top of it without them falling off the back. So that's what we did, and um, my decor idea for this was I just got some confetti from Party City and put it all under it so that it just adds a lot to the desk and makes it look super cute. I put a few Polaroid pictures. I was gonna add more, but um, I just thought that, you know, it kind of, the confetti kind of covers our faces, so I didn't want to like do that. So uh, most of them are up here. So that's basically my, you know, on top of the desk overview. And now we're gonna go into the drawer. So there's three drawers. This one is first and foremost. One of my organization ideas is to use a silverware organizer in your desk. This is from Ikea, I wanna say. It was super cheap and it's nice because it's clear, you can see everything and it's perfect size for like dry erase pens and you know, random school supplies, highlighters, Sharpies, pens, scissors. 
Um, it's just a really nice organizational tool. Back here in a Tupperware, I just have some miscellaneous things like batteries and command hooks. I have my brush roll, my old camera, hard drive, screen cleaner, spray glue, just random things basically. Up here, things that I use often like hand cream, makeup remover, um, my kind of journal. It's not like a personal journal, it's like my YouTube journal and my inhaler for my medicine that I take every day. That's super nice, because then you just roll it out and you have all this stuff at your beck and call. Um, I had another one of these Ikea things where I just organized miscellaneous things that don't really have a place, perfume, phone cases, post-it notes, tied to go. Honestly, things that I'll need to access at random times, but I'll need to have convenience. So I have um, a little travel mirror, some like iPod charger things. So yeah, that's basically that one. Then going into the deeper drawer, this one's a little harder to organize just because it's really deep. So I don't really have that many super tall things, but um, I have one more of these IKEA organizers where down here it's mostly kind of like hair stuff. So in this little thing I keep bobby pins and hair ties and headbands and things of that sort. Crimper and hairbrushes hairspray in the back where it fits, American Apparel bows, extra Clarisonic brushes, band-aids that are Spongebob, AKA the best band-aids ever, hair products probably in here, and just like little miscellaneous things. I like to have my little miscellaneous things organized in plastic things where I can see them so I don't forget about them, um, but yeah. And finally, the last thing for this desk tour is down here there's actually a little shelf which is super convenient craft thing that I made that I never really had a purpose for. It has paint in it, car paint here, um, some extra lotion and stuff. Here is where I keep my notebook that I'm not using for the day. I have two notebooks um, based on the classes I have for the day, so the one I have that I'm using today is in my bag here, which is my bag I use for classes. And that's the one I use for, you know, Monday, Wednesday. So that was my desk tour video. I hope you guys enjoyed and got something out of it slash learned from it. Make sure to give this video a really small thumbs up. You know how everyone says big thumbs up? I don't get that. All thumbs up are the same size. If you do some of these things that I suggested with organization, or if you just have really cool ideas for your desk, please Snapchat them to me. I'd love to see them. My Snapchat is Christy Vetter, and I'd love to snap you guys back and forth. If you're not subscribed to my channel, why? Just kidding, anytime is a good time to subscribe, so just click the screen here where it says subscribe and you'll be able to see all my new videos for free. I love you guys so much, thank you for watching, and let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I'll see you next time. Bye! So I say I'm sorry I can't, I've got plans As I watch the time